Welcome back to Horizon Recruitment's Top 10s right here on the Career Cafe. Today, we're breaking down the top 10 questions you should be asking yourself before you make your next big career move. So you're trying to find work or you're looking to make a career change. In either situation, when you start the search, it's important to know what you're looking for before you start applying for jobs. How are you supposed to know exactly what you want in your career? Are you supposed to become one with the resume? Well, it's more about gaining perspective, understanding what you want in your career, and asking yourself the right questions to find that perspective. Well, what are those right questions? Well, that's what we're here for. And hey, we're asking the questions around here. Number one, why do you want to make a move? Needing to make a move is different than wanting to make a move. Regardless, honing in on why you want to make that move might reveal that by making a couple key changes in your current situation could enable you to make major progress towards your career objectives. Stay true to what is important to you. If after careful consideration, like answering the rest of the questions in this video, the situation you're in is a good one, perhaps a move doesn't make sense right now. Number two. What kind of situation am I looking for? When I say situation, I don't mean just the job with the compensation and benefits. I'm talking about the growth trajectory of the company, the approach of your immediate supervisor and the leadership team, the opportunity for advancement, the culture of the company and the day-to-day -day demands. As you can see, this is much deeper and career affecting than how much money you're gonna make. Number three, work-life balance or career progression. This one is a biggie. So many people don't effectively evaluate the impact of this consideration on their overall career happiness and effectiveness. Everyone's objectives and desires are different. They change at different stages of life and are unique to them. So what's more important to you now and in the future? Really think about this. This is an area that doesn't just affect you. It affects your personal and family life to a large degree, especially if you have kids. Number four. Who do I want to work for? Your boss is as important, if not more important, than the company that you work for. Remember your high school teachers? Can you remember one that made their subject just come to life and how it affected you? Good teachers made difficult or boring subjects interesting because of their approach. Good bosses do the same. If you can find a good boss in a challenging company, that may actually be a very good situation. Number five. What is my market value? What does total compensation look like for people at your level? This involves tenure and performance characteristics. What is the range and where do you fit into it currently? If you don't have a good grasp on this equation, you could be in for a bumpy ride. If you base your compensation target on one data point or piece of advice, it could be quite damaging and cost an offer. Remember to look at total compensation, not just the salary component. Number six. How will my next role get me closer to my long-term career objectives? What projects, systems, and people will you be exposed to in your next role? One of the fundamental career management principles is that of goodwill. This principle says the more goodwill you have, the more options you have, and the easier it is to navigate the job market based on your terms. If you can find a situation where you will be able to amplify and build goodwill at a quicker rate than elsewhere, this is very likely a positive step forward. Number seven, who can actually hire me? One of the biggest problems people who are looking to make a move in their career have is they don't know enough people who can actually hire them. This is one of the key reasons people always need to be networking, volunteering, exchanging value with those in their area of expertise. The key here is that these types of initiatives must be done over a long period of time consistently for great results. Number eight, who do I need to tell I'm gonna be making a move? If you have well-established goodwill, then making it known to your network that you are up for a move to a better situation, it's a snap. Simply updating your LinkedIn profile doesn't really count here. If you don't have a good list of people who can assist, there's work to do. Number nine, what does my digital footprint say about me? Your digital footprint is becoming more and more important. If there's something in your resume that isn't backed up by your online presence, or lack thereof, then it could be detrimental. Do a quick audit and see what's out there. Matching information on your LinkedIn profile with what's on your resume 
That's an obvious start. Number 10, how will I handle the bumps along the way? Career management is an active contact sport. Having a strong network of contacts can really smooth out a lot of the bumps. Now making contacts isn't always easy, especially for those who haven't done so for a while or never made the effort in the past. The more familiar people are with you, provided it's in a positive way, the more dexterity you will have in managing your career and changing paths when you see fit. Number 11? Sure, it's a bonus one. What will happen when I give notice? This final point is often overlooked, but you do need to formulate a plan to exit gracefully. What will you do if you get a counteroffer? Plan as though you will get one and don't assume you won't. If you've thought through all the items above, there's no reason to stay at all. It's time to make that next move. So there's our top 10 or 11 questions you should ask yourself before making your next career move. In the comments section below, let us know what you do to manage your career effectively. As well, tell us what top 10 topics you wanna to see in the future. Hit like on this video, subscribe to our channel, and go to horizonrecruit.com for more career know-how. I'm Jeremy Tiffin, thanks for watching The Career Cafe.